Many of the nationalist or populist rights arguments are geared wrongly for popular democratic persuasion, but are generally not achieving that, either because they're wrong arguments, or what I also especially believe, you're not aiming the right arguments at the right people. And ultimately, you're not doing what someone like a smart and courageous nationalist like Dominic Venner did do, which is to provide, you have to provide an attractive, seductive, and really a grand, inspiring view of life that could motivate people to want to preserve their nationhood as a special possession against and over others. This universalized uh, Marxism, oh, I'm the real Marxist, and I'm going to free the people from... All you're offering in the end with that is groupiness and a theory about why their own Reddit somewhat more universalized groupiness is a psychological operation by the big banks or by Ursula von der Leyen or by the Rothschilds or because Alex Jones cannot say the ash, he says, the thousand, thousand-year-old reptilians from Babylon and so on. But in the end... What's being argued about is two kinds of indistinct groupiness. That's what's being peddled about. And I think this distortion self kneecaps the right and is worse than the propositional nation delusion that almost no one genuinely believes in anyway and is not a danger for us. And this distortion is maybe caused less by rejection of any universal or cosmopolitan claims than by the stupid belief many of you want to continue in the belief and prejudice for democracy, for egalitarianism, not realizing that the people as such, the people can never be the carriers of national identity in the full, in the, in the full sense, not to speak of political decision, and that to compel and seduce an active minority that can be effective, you need to present them actually with the full vision of the life you offer, and that is not just good because it's your own, but also because it's better and superior to others, desirable as such. And let me just close with a note on political signaling in case some shit libs listening to me, if there are any, in case you think what I've said so far is a call for people just to play nice and not attack enemies in speech and just to be positive. Let me say a word on that. Okay, okay, because I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying Enoch Powell. I'm saying Jonathan Bowden. I'm saying Dominic Venner. I'm saying that is the right signaling for public consumption, not this victimization mentality where you present yourself as a poor, we are poor native peoples who are being colonized by evil bad guy outsiders. Who you think exactly is going to be convinced by that? Are you going to convince a Marxoid uh, or left-leaning girl like the one I just mentioned? Because I can tell you that type of distended Marxoid is not going to be converted to leftist nationalism by your claim that her moral views have actually been manipulated by uh, financial institutions or by global techno-neoliberal capitalism or any such thing. In fact, in the off chance you would be able to achieve rule based on such principles, and you will not, not in the uh, modern kind of Europe or uh, United States, but there are many examples, for example, Scotland, uh, the Ireland of uh, IRA uh, ape Jerry Adams of uh, the uh, Cork County nationalism, the Basque country of Spain, the Catalonia of Spain, and most of all, the Argentina of the Peronist faction. And the Peronists are basically Bannon on uh, times 100, Bannon on steroids. And you look at the result of populist leftist nationalism in Argentina, complete, by the way, with the same rhetoric Many of you pseudo-Marxoids on the right love about international finance and the evils of the IMF and this type of thing. Well, all of these nations that I mentioned, including Argentina, are overrun by non-white immigrants. If, <clears throat> to put it mildly, they're not immigrants, they're migrants and invaders. And why are they brought in? Because leftoids like to have clients and eventually uh, they like to make alliance with based third world coloreds against their own effete uh, evil white bad guy elites, you see. This always happens in all of these cases. But the fundamental problem is if you win, let's say, on something that is not explicitly racial and cultural identity, <coughs> eventually you will become like uh, the worst aspect of global homo that you dislike, which is, again, the mass migration. You have to emphasize the racial aspect above all, and not be shy about asserting the inferiority and contemptible nature and ways of life of other peoples, 
their unsuitability for life in your nation. Again, the Enoch Powell model. And the Jonathan Bowden type of rhetoric is, I think, the most powerful, where you encourage your own kind and you show young people especially the greatness of their own history and why they are superior to others and why they have the right to take charge of the reins of these nations and uh, do what, uh, let's say, uh, Ferdinand of Aragon, I just posted about uh, Machiavelli, where uh, Machiavelli say the most rare and extraordinary act, where he cleansed his kingdoms of the Moors. But it's not just the Moors, it's many others. And you don't have, uh, an, again, necessarily in policy to go that far if you are, uh, have a normie presenting face, but an Enoch Powell and a Jonathan Bowden type rhetoric in public should eventually be ex um, expected of all uh, politician on the right in uh, America and Europe. If not, there is no hope because you cannot uh, advance uh, what you want, the national identity and many such things based on purely this egalitarian, oh, we are all different peoples and we are all equally oppressed by uh, shadowy global techno capital and this type of thing. It's pussy stuff. Many of people making this are actually Marxoid. They are not on the right. Others of you have, have been mind fucked by egalitarianism, where you can no longer assert your own superiority to others. But without that, without that drive for supremacy, a people cannot continue. You must listen to Nietzsche and submit the thousand and one goals from Zarathustra. Very good. I say too much. Until next time, bat out.